Yes, lads, it's Jake from the football fan scene. And in today's video, we're back for another vlog on the channel. It is very, very rainy here. Loftus Road for today's game. It's QPR versus Reading, fourth versus third in the championship. Two sides you didn't really expect to be up there. Michael Bills, QPR, coming off the back of a fantastic 1 0 win at tabletop at Sheffield United in midweek. Whilst Reading under Paul Ince have been revitalised under his management. It looked like they were going to go down at one point last year. He saved them. They're now third in the league, fresh off the back of a 1 1 draw against favourites to win the league this year, Norwich City. So there's two sides in form here who meet Friday night at Loftus Road. Let's get into it. Now, the important team news here at the Kai and Prince Foundation Stadium is that Chris Willock, the man who scored the winner for QPR in midweek, the man who's so integral to that Rangers front line, he is out injured. He does not play tonight. It's a big, big miss for them. They're going to have to adapt to it. And it's a very resolute Reading defence. As for them, Lucas Wow and Andy Carroll start up front. Very physical attack, very tall attack. You won't see them getting in behind too much. We you root one stuff from them, trying to get it to the two big men up front. Well, with Max and Dylan today. Um, score prediction, Max? 3-1. Um, I think, yeah. Uh, Luke Amos is going to get hat trick. Yes, Luke Amos hat trick. Nah, 3-1 dice hat trick. There's a lot of hat tricks that they're saying. Enjoy the game, boys. It's a big one. The teams are out here. A big, big game. Stefan Johansson leads out QPR. Andy Yeadog leads out the Royals. And it is a packed lot of road. The Canada way ends. The Reddy fans have certainly turned up in their numbers on this Friday night. A huge game in the championship. And kickoff is coming very soon. And there he is, Andy Carroll in the centre circle, Num number two, the former England international. Two on the back of his shirt, very unusual for a striker. The Reading fans in full voice. And it's going to be Elias Chair to kick it off. Here we go then, fourth versus third. QPR versus Reading and we are all set and here we go Billy Ashchair on the right foot the effort goes wide With a little glimpse of what the Moroccan number 10 can do come on Roberts. Oh! Very good save by Joe Longley to deny Tyler Roberts. Lucas Wow, the chance. Wow goes down. Penalty. Lucas Wow went down. against the right play to take the lead from the spot. Former England international Andy Carroll against the Senegalese international Semi Dieng to give Reading a priceless lead at Loftus Road. Andy Carroll scores. And Reading strikes first. A pyro. Reading leads. They take him the big chance has come their way. And you know, we never look like this thing. And now it's down to QPR. Down to QPR to come back. For those Reading fans, they're absolutely loving it. 1 0. Very close cross. Ahead. For minutes, two minutes, man. Lyndon Dykes 
bad touch. It's Tyler Roberts. Still going, Roberts. Oh! Kukiara on the front foot. Half time. Kukiara won, ready to win. Kukiara on the back side. They've had a lot more of the ball. Creating chances. Tyler Roberts was a very good save from Joe Lovely. Reading took the lead in the 30th minute through that anti Carroll penalty. Lucas Wright won. QPR level though three minutes later. Lyndon Dykes on his birthday. Brilliant header from Osman Kaikai's cross. A very, very close game to be fair. In terms of possession, Reading said QPR have had more of that. Not many clear cut chances. In the second half, you expect the game to open up more. Both sides look to try and win the game. And you do think Reading might be happy with a point here coming to a very, very good side. There's players on the bench as well that can affect it for both teams. If you look at Reading, Yaku Mete, Obi Ajari are their players who we know can come on. Tom Ince as well, of course, the manager's son. They're players that can come on and change the game. Likewise for QPR, so it's going to be a very, very interesting second half here at Loftus Road. It's half time, QPR 1. Uh, Max, thoughts on that first half here? Um, QPR are dominating, honestly. Apart from that, apart from the penalty, I think they, Reading should not really, have really had a chance. Yeah, it was so off. Yeah. Joe Lovely, Gerrard, he's so he's yeah, so he lovely. was poor. Maybe should have saved that header from Lyndon Dykes. Very, very tough angle though from where we're sitting. Dylan, yeah. first half on zone. Go play more direct, QPR. Yeah. So we're direct, we're gonna get chances, once we get chances. So we're doing a lumping half to Lumley, Lumley's a liability, we're gonna yeah. score three or four. Second half, what's the score gonna be? Full time score. Four one I'm gonna go. Max, full time score. I'm sticking my three one. So three one, it's all to play for here in the second half. Players are back out here. No change the half time, but QPR brought on Osman Kai Kai through for Lair due to injury in the first half. He got the assist for that Linden Dykes equaliser. Likewise, Reading had to make a change with Julia Hoylet coming on due to injury. Ref blows the whistle. Second 45 underway. Dennis Walker's cross. Dykes. Is it a tight? Elias Chair. Chair. Oh, beaten away by Joe Lumley. Very good counter attack though from QPR. Julia Hoyler in the corner here for Reading. <coughs> QPR just needs to stay in this, get this away, because Reading has some two players. Dykes away. Hendrick. And again, his chair. Good ball, very good ball. Boiler. Driven by. Shots were wide. 20 minutes left here. Two yard man. Try and get a winner. It's could go either way. 20 minutes left, 1-1. One, one. And they get a cross in. It's a cross. Ajaria. Couldn't get a ball out of his feet. Kai Kai. Oh! Just dragged wide. 10 minutes to go. It can still go either way. Help him out! Oh! Joe Lumley, the former QPR man, has the job of stopping Lyndon Dykes. Here comes the Scotsman to make it 2-1. Oh, 
massive win. It's true love. 30 seconds of normal time. Guinness World Cup. One last long try. And it goes. Flicked on. Semi Diang. Cool as you like. And QPR are nearly there. There are four minutes added on. QPR have the ball in the corner right where they need it. Very close to a very important win. It's now or never. The goalie's up. Tom Inch for Reading. It goes. The end comes. And plays. And that's it. QPR have done it. They have come from behind. Michael Fields tries to pick up a huge three points. It is a very good opposition. And you have to say they deserved it. Andy Carroll's penalty gave Reading the lead in the first half. That lead lasted three minutes before Linda Dyke's power and overdiving header. And it was Dyke again in the 83rd minute who secured the three points. Reading Huff and Puff at the end. It was not enough. Man of the match today has to be Lyndon Dykes. Very good performance from everyone today wearing a blue and white shirt. Dylan, for me, for Max. Great to see you. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you next time.